Udlaku, oh, long hair and earrings. Oh, am I right? Okay. Uh, Udlaku, it is Friday, April 16th. Um, as always, Premier will start. Minister Kusugov will speak second. Uh, and then Dr. Patterson will speak to um, questions. No. Next steps, and then we'll head right into questions. Um, as I mentioned in the room already, uh, moving forward, all our case counts will be posted online on GN social media and web, as well as Premier social media, and those will be out by late morning. So check there. The, that will also be where we put those um, potential exposure notices. So if you do see them, please share them widely. Um, and happy Friday, and stay safe and well. Thanks. Aula sakulu metal le mei pu 16 civil of the Halimala on the Minister Kusuga Halimala and Ayoka Maluta Patterson, King of Lomehane Lona Mangata, a person of Tausi Takut. Dako had to be learning in Nunavo Government Kungita, Harasaya Kut, Tukisigar Bingani, Sakata Hatam Nati, Ula Taman, a Malokiko Katia Hatu in Optimini, Ningin Nito Sakti Chiuta Hatam Namayo, Dako Kikulimano, how you go to Gasa Hatam Nakasu. Ubdachi <laughs> Emerging me storehouse, bar and grill. Take any lounge over April 8. I'm a 14. We can't talk to take any. No one knows what to take any. In the real clown, in meaning, how we have now put it on the left paling in Mangapi, on the left paling now with no work to young now with take on a no one knows what to do. Tan or how to go Kanigi Lua Lao Na Pata Ubalu Ba Aktua Gatua Lao Na Pata Taakwa Kawin Na Omaak Tau Taan Na Nami Mea Taakwa Katin Na Kahok Tuni Taan Na Wan Na Rua Taay Kani Lao Na Pat Taakwa Government Ku Ikaak Ta Vianyi Amma Kapu Na Tu Shosho Miri Ngani Taakwa Iliyo Yu Maa Ma Yu Tene To Halang Na Pat Ublumi Hila Chau Tilugu Taan Na Hanan Nao Lang Ilyak Tilugu Tua Kagu Taakwa Nuna Moa Nga Na Pata Ekalung Miu Nuna Moa Nga Na Pata Kawi Hat Chalo Tit Ilegi Tui Na Taakwa Iglo Rua Mi Tui Na Kating Nga Nea Put Amma Taakwa Tupiu Kati Nu Ublu Lung Tang Ilu Tit Amma Tabba Nia Kalung Ni Taakwa Peko Yau Atua Ga Kat Peko Yau Hok Tun An Nea Taili Tit An Nea Taili Tit Si Kuni Malik Taakwa Yau Wod Malik tau cakna aku tak kuat ubel lu tengi lutit kini apa mi matu am matu lutit kanigi luar tengi lutit agak buat mi cak taluit aman tanah nutang oyok hilami keluar we tak kuat inu terlibat ungat tanu orang itu katinga yo aman tak kuat kai tiwa tak kuat kalung miut aman nur miut lu tak kene tabbani kalung miut lu ya tabbani kalung mi nuban nang jua kalaman Kanigi tengi luta tak kuat malit cila oleh buat tak kuat anda terlihat cikgu malah kau yangin tak kuat malit cia optigo aitor lu hilangin apa aitor lu hilangin apa inokatip tinu nagili nagili apa nu tan nu ban nagiwa itu lekat alu ni amat tan nu ban nagiwa tapi ni kalung ni lemban nalu nang itu tak kuat na how tit kubalang ni amat tak kuat nu ban nagiwa kartu dan Jen eh homan, tanah hantar teli, hantar teli makan hantar teli tahu hantar mana ini nak kalau mat, tak kuat. Nah, how to ini kami hunga ni aktif oleh kerana kapai hunga itu di tanah pelajar cahaya mereka tak mereka tak tak kuat. Anak teli tici kurbit tak koyangin, ialah pelajar yangin. 
kawi halu ti ta ko kitu kanigi lao mangata aktwa ko ti lao mangata nuban na yao me kawi hak tau na mangata ta ko pilagat cha na mangata kalung miut ihumalu luang iluhi kihani ta ko malik tau ko yu malik tau cha lugi amata na kai ti ko ata ka kapiyo himang ina ko wit nuban na yao ata ay ko ti moderna mi kapiyo yak tau na putin ana kapiyo himaluk ta le ko ta an ya lang ina ta Takwa kai di gua tak kapi yau hima in covid ukalu glutit kapi yau yah tak koma kawin matakwa uba guluk ta nunu bumi uta luk ta kene tabani ukalu mi piluak tu suwo takwa mene ke chak ta uba tini mene ke chak lo ta kwa iglo mi iglo yau mi akati gijabut ila gijabut nagli gijabut inda koti bu Mereka cakap kalau tak kena gigi luar tengen luar tak, tanah nubun nak luar itu lini aman. Mak nak wujud ini nubun bil, kau yang mengun, kau yang mengun, nala cakap nak mengapa pun. Good morning. Today we are reporting 12 new cases of COVID-19 in Nakalin. There are now 13 active cases of COVID-19 in Nunavut, and all are here in Nakalin. The total number of persons followed to date is 7,000. 335, and there are currently 148 people still being followed. On a good side, 14,035 Nunavut Mute have received their first dose of the Moderna vaccine, and 10,434 Nunavut Mute are fully vaccinated. They have received their second dose. As you likely saw last night, we have identified potential exposure of COVID-19 at the storehouse bar and grill from April 8 to 14. All further exposure notifications will be posted on the government of Nunavut social media pages and the website, as well as mine. So please check frequently and share those widely. As we head into a beautiful spring weekend, it is important that Akhalub Mute stay home don't visit or have visitors. Wear masks, keep distancing, and ensure any gatherings are limited to five people only outside. If you go out on the land, please go with your household only. Do not go with friends and family. If you see people out, please keep strong physical distancing. I cannot stress enough how important it is to follow these rules and slow the spread of this virus. It is up to each one of us to protect our community. I expect that Akalui's COVID case count will rise, so please don't panic when you hear the daily numbers. It does mean that we it, it does mean that we are identifying cases and able to test, trace, and isolate them, which is exactly what we need to do. And please if you have not received your if you have not received your first Madonna vaccine, please call your local health center to make an appointment. We have the vaccines. The government has done its part. Now it's up to you to get the vaccine. Protect yourselves, your community, your loved ones, and those how you and those and those how can those how can be those can be vaccinated. Be safe and well this week. Please take care. And I know Nunavut will listen to all the public health measures and we will beat this virus. Thank you. Blackwood <laughs> Ang iyong mga ilitisim na lakto talo tako ako na lakto tigut sila juang me tamatim ng pila kaya ka katigiya bu. Apero iba pa na lakoblu si gawa magkut maligak sila kasi mayang ni tamatuma miksano 
A lot has changed in the last 24 hours, and we are starting to see a lot of rumors and misinformation on social media sites and the rumor mill. I'd just like to remind everyone that our government and our territory has been working for this for a year now, and we've built solid foundations and practices around COVID-19. We have learned from other outbreaks and trends around the world. So I ask that you listen to what our government is telling you and not the rumors and false information that is so readily available out there. This outbreak has drawn a lot of attention on critical workers, and there are people who are angry and guessing about the identities of individuals. Thank you. This is unfair and often untrue. We have gone over a year with the critical worker exemptions in place without a case of COVID-19. Our territory relies on critical and rotational staff for everything from food supply and health care to critical maintenance. Without this program, we would lose vital services and put Nunavumiu at risk. If it is determined that there was a gap in the system that led to the outbreak in Iqaluit, we will address it. In the meantime, I'd just like to remind everybody, including the critical workers, that this is important, that it is important to follow the public health measures. Just don't put people at risk. Please do not treat people differently because of their jobs or circumstances. We are all in this together, and no one wants to be sick or see others become sick. Ensure you are listening to the government of Nunavut about COVID-19. There will always be rumors and panic. We are here to give you the best, most accurate information. As always, Nunavut Mute, we will get through this. Please stay safe. Good morning. <clears throat> Today we uh, have confirmed uh, 12 more cases of COVID-19 in Akhalawad. Individuals are isolating and doing well. 
since we have evidence of community transmission, we are officially declaring an outbreak of COVID-19 in Iqaluit. Um, it is being declared an outbreak as it involves multiple uh, different households and we have not determined the source of infection at this time. It is important that Iqalumiyat are aware that while this is a serious situation, it is one that we can gain control of, contain and in time end. <laughs> ta ko ani teli ti taw yot am malo khano ilo akati tay ma khaw yi sima le gata nu na le ne sa ma pale a sima ne ngani tay ma na lo na se le khu go tama na sa ma pale a la ga ne ngani no ba jwana 19 e khalon ni ta na na lo na taw yo sa ma le ne ngani ta ko adji ge ngi tu me illo me khati ge ngi tu ne sa ma pale a sima le ne ngan am malo na lo na si gun nangin na ta na ki nga no ma nga sole through contact tracing, it has been determined that there may have been exposure to COVID-19 starting on Thursday, April 7th at Akalowit Storehouse Bar and Grill. Anyone who was at the Storehouse Bar and Grill on or after um, uh, that time is being asked to self-monitor for the next 14 days. Um, anyone who develops symptoms must begin isolating for 14 days and contact COVID hotline at one 975 8601 And I'll just correct one thing. The uh, notice for uh, the period of time for the storehouse, it began on April 8th, not April 7th. Apologies for that. Thursday. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a Thursday or a Friday, but it was April 8th. Okay. Taima Katiya Sima Yuni Kawi Sapaliati Lutanalo Nayo Sisima Lektugu Taima S um Nuba Jona to Lim Mektak well Katiya Hasima Yumi New Gallerning in Nik April eight me piggy after ni echalun ni tak and a sir law me inner bing and in every bing anilo. Kina to in a take and a sir law me inner bang and eight sima you never been milo April eight me umata luteko and I'm mini how is it chair for your luni fourteen. Anyone who has left a Kalawit since April 7th to another community in Nunavut is being asked to isolate for 14 days from the day that you left the city. If you have already returned to Iqaluit, you do not have to isolate. If you are in medical travel and have returned to Iqaluit, you do not have to isolate. This isolation measure is meant to prevent introduction of COVID-19 to communities outside of Iqaluit. If you know that you have been in close contact with uh, someone who has COVID-19, please tell public health and isolate. By cooperating and doing your part, you can help stop the spread. Quick contact tracing isolates the virus and stops outbreaks. Limit your contacts, choose your bubble and stay within it. This will decrease the risk of getting and transmitting the virus any further. This virus doesn't discriminate between one person or another. It has now been close to 14 months since the beginning of this pandemic. And I would like to remind Nunavumia that individuals who've tested positive so far come from different backgrounds, different jobs and circumstances. 
putting blame on others doesn't stop outbreaks. Following public health measures, testing, tracing, and isolating stops outbreaks. Thank you. Kati silo at ilo hatarici tako ila ila pulare hati yhatarum naptasi asing in new it asing in the pulare hatang in Lucy Tamana Sam Matel it is tail good nang at pulat pulare lo at ilo hatamna Malaking ulak pami tan nova joamna ila narum nang in makina to in namik a jiggy titsiman. Takio Simalang at a fourteen, Pigalo Simamani Tamana Sama Palia and Nuna Jami. A Kaitigar me a canoe of Mirta, Kokiko to in nine, Nova Jam Nakasimayot, a digging it to a honey to two in our Lutik in using it a Malad jigging it to Nikanaya, have to take a jigging it to Nilopin to the house sitting. Was it Chine, as it Chine, Tama, Sama Palia and make no cottage cigot out young in man. Malicia Lusana, Hamanga to learn a Malita girl in Nick. How you sucked out her turner, a malocati or you mean on the how you sounded, and it tailed it in a low time, a time, and no cottage she could tell you two good knock of sound of a lane on me. Oh, you know me. Kent Driscoll, EPTN National News. Dr. Patterson, with the public advisory last night about the storehouse, what's required for you to put in a public advisory like that? In other words, what needs to happen? Before you warn people about having been at a place. Kendra's co EPT and Kuniluta Patterson Tano, Naluna to Lord to Rico, Emir Bimmy, Hanok Tame to Miss Akir Sinel, Lunik, Kisunik, Pitahara, Harayaka. We know that there were people there who were in, uh, in the facility when they were infectious, um, and we are not able to identify everybody who might that who they might have been in contact with so we've contacted some the ones we know for sure have been or will be contacted in the in the next little while but there's a risk of exposure for um, many people who we will be unable to identify How you got the take and eat to Halong attain a Sam Mapaletic Sigum Nasun and Nova Jam not to have to me. Take we lang it take any hat or lot to how you Naluna Runang in Natigo, Ilang in how you may allow to take and eat to me, how you cut out smaller to a malo, how you cut over layo. Kissani take us in how you may young in the Kung in Nuki could take any hat to allow Manga at a time, but Nova Jam not to limb me, cut his human to in the hang at a time, a sacred silly lot to. In most cases, that risk is going to be low, which is why we say self-monitor, not self-isolate. But if anybody who was there uh, develops symptoms or feels unwell, they should isolate immediately and then uh, contact the COVID-19 hotline and arrange. Uh, they'll help arrange to get tested. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Patterson, when the alert was announced last night, I started looking at some similar alerts from different jurisdictions to see how they do it elsewhere in the country. And Generally speaking, most of those are more specific than the one that GN put out last night. They will say, this business between these hours. Uh, the one your department put out covers entire business operation over about seven days. I'm wondering why your public advisory was so broad. So broad? So Oh, Donna, Lota Patterson, how you can go to law to unno taiko Takugali Longagi cannot admit a mate to say nay, how you can go to what to kiss me, but Namo Pata have to menu till you get the Manalona Sisum Matabani to menu you, Luni, Ulungani, and Manu Kunani Kirkini, Kisani Litana, Uluni Seven Marini, Nalona Sisma Lavi, Tana Hanipa. Because there were a number of people. There, uh, some of those nights there was more than one person who would have been in their infectious period and uh, sorting out which hours it was would have created more confusion and made it um, made it harder for everyone to figure out. So uh, we do know that um, on 
every one of those days there was uh, at least one and more than one individual in most cases who w would have been in there uh, who were in the building during what was their potentially infectious period. Jackie McKay, CBC News. Any of the positive cases um, were people who have already been vaccinated? Jackie McKay, CBC, Kunita, Kuenova, Joan, Nakta, Sima, Yu, Nande, Kapiyo, Sima, Yu, Kapiyo, Sima, Ban. I don't know at this point. How you mangita kasuli taman na? Can you update us on contact tracing and how many more people you've identified? That number is changing literally every hour, but the last time I uh, heard from the, uh, the lead for contact tracing, it was just over 70. Radio Canada. Are there other places in Ikawa that have been identified as potentially at risk? Matisse Harvey Radio Canada Kunyasing in the Pili Review Unehal and Nalun at Tosima Yakaupa Patosima Jumino Kinaral in Nova Joan of Tulino. Not at this time. Man, no, you are. Um, do you know how many people approximately were at the storehouse between uh, the 8th and the 14th, counting, including the staff? the boarding home or places where there's lots of people staying. Emma Tran to Canadian press could never have been able to get the house 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 to get There's some happening at, uh, at the local hospital. Anybody being admitted is being tested for COVID-19. Um, right now, we're working on um, the focus is on the contact tracing and trying to um, find the limits of where it spread so far. Um, over the next few days, we'll make some decisions about uh, surveillance testing on high risk populations and screening for other groups. They may be up there near the pillow, so the pillow of the man now bear the moteco, only had to have his after what of the Nova Journal nineteen Haka Nicola Mangata. Man, no, you little Aga Halo at the Catio, you mean only how his upper lane and motaima is Hano, Namu is little Behamanga, Sam Massimania, how you got so large car at the good. Ulugalau near to Nesamal near a lot to go to my how his upper lane at the Lalo Tapillo to me, Tamakuning, Ulugana to me, Gunanakani. Is anyone currently in the hospital with COVID-19 right now? And can you just remind us if someone needed to be hospitalized here in Akalawi, would they be hospitalized in the city or would they be sent out? Um. So everyone who's been identified so far is still at home and isolating at, at their home. 
As far as transfer of somebody who gets uh, sick and needs to be admitted to hospital, that would be a clinical decision um, based on a number of circumstances where their primary residence is, whether or not we can provide care for them safely and also maintain isolation here at the, at the local hospital. Hän oli sulla ollut tätä ja mangata hänin matto taako unitti tässä maju taako luuta no isma luuta tässä jaktu amma lu piloattu isma kijo luuti nami miuta mangata amma lu ipi kijo gunat saara ja kalu mangata inu li sotta utsaa on naaja mangata amma lu taako nalu nata luuti isma luuta tässä jaktu manita luuti. Yesterday you identified that the first individual did have symptoms. That's why they got tested. These new 12 individuals, are they showing symptoms or are they asymptomatic? Dustin Petar, you said that you had to go to the hospital and you had to go to the hospital. You had to go to the hospital and you had to go to the hospital. Some of them are symptomatic, uh, some of them aren't. You had to go to the hospital and you had to go to the hospital and you had to go to the hospital. Follow up on Ken's question. Now that you've identified this range at the storehouse, how does contact tracing differ than, you know, for example, okay, well, one individual contacted this individual and so on and so forth. What's the process like now? The contact tracing around the individuals who have already been identified continues unchanged. Um, what, uh, what would happen if, let's say we get a call from somebody who says they were in the storehouse at that time um, and they have symptoms and they get a positive diagnosis or anyone else, if we get a positive diagnosis around them, then we get a, we begin, sorry, if we get a positive diagnosis in that case, we begin contact tracing around them, and I'll let Uli interpret that and continue on. Sorry. Tämä kohoi saattaa olla tilugi. Nalu näyttää usma jo hap tilugu. Tämä katija minningin kohoi saattaa olla tuin nähtäytyn. Sulu halu viuni rutta hattu halu ni. Tämä ni mä bin mitu minu ni halu ni ammalu hanu iku te halu ni. Nalu näyttää olla nuva juo nähtä halu ni ganik. Tätsu mangaa katija minningi ilang ilu ni. Tämä tätsu mä kohoi saattaa olla jaribu. So in, in that case, the goal is twofold. One, to limit the spread from that individual, like to find everywhere, everyone who they may have, uh, who may have acquired COVID from them, but also to see if we can establish the link with the, out, the chain of transmission that we already are aware of. They may to have the Katana Makuling Agayak to Tana Pillow up to me, Sulita, Isulita Gasol, and the Tatsuma Sam Marsigun Nanga, and Malorano Toy Sartos in Nam Miloni, Hano Toranga Gayak Toranga Manga, Tamakuno, a Sam Marbusima, you know, a Missum. Trevor, I know what news. Do contact tracing teams um, inquire on a person's um, vaccination status when they're reaching out to? Someone? Trevor Wright, no 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 news could need to go to the mini or how you start to look at a big hat to crack up your small mangata. In most cases, but it's not the biggest priority uh, because we uh, we know that there's a certain element of failure in the vaccine. It's very small, but um, it's not the biggest priority in the information they're looking for. Ilu naga langin ni tay ma pero katag to tana sibul leo jo na pangong ito galwa kesa ilang ni ilan ni kut kaputi ato to katag ni ma tana sibul leo jo ni ma ato kut ato katag to galwa. Can this be considered a community transmission at this point, or is it too early to call it? Tana nula ni ni sa ma pala si maning ano nalo na si madiaw ni ano hila miulo ka. So right now we have links between every single case. All of the people that have been diagnosed with COVID-19, um, they were identified as having uh, been involved in this chain of transmission somewhere. Um, and so no, it's not, uh, it does not meet the criteria for calling it community transmission. 
Mana yo taku nalu nato sama yo nufat jo nak tuham ningin ni taku nalu nato sama mata katinga yo minyak ningan ni tay may masuli nalu nato sama gunang itu nuna lini sa makpelle ningan ni. Kent Driscoll, EPTN National News. Uh, Dr. Patterson, I've been getting some questions about bubbling and how individual bubbles work. For example, if you head fewer than five people in your household and head a family member who lives in the community by themselves in another household, can you combine and make one bubble? I'm wondering, can you walk me through your hopes for people's bubbling? Kent Driscoll, EPTN, Kunita, Koilumi, Hatigi, Tupulara, Hatigi, Hataru, Narning, Nurhanu, Naluna, Chak, and Nerun Nakio. Tali mana kahkan dengan pola atau guna tu hanga lau abu ilmu mewah tinggi ni tanah nalo naik sahkan dengan nak kau solo ilang jauh atau situ ilmu ni tak semua ilang inu pola lalu ni kanu taman nalo naik sah lau. Right now, the orders basically say it's your household bubble and that's it. If this goes on for like if we leave it in these orders for a significant period of time, we can create modifications to allow people who live alone to have uh, some degree of social contact outside of their household but for at least the next few days it's household bubbles only uh, Dr. Patterson, the MLAs who are here for the meetings and the NIRB reps who are here for the meetings are returning to their home communities for the most part after some self-isolation and monitoring. Is there a risk of that? Is there a risk associated to that? And what should those people be doing when they return to their home communities? Lutak harus entah kau malay kalau waktu itu mana yang kata lawan kata malu nuna bumi abah abah tu lagi ikut kat sini macam ni, angin kami ni utara ham ni yang kata anik tu lagi kain nak ayah halau kalau alu tu nampi nak lu kau isat saya lau kalau alu tu, ulu kau nak kata mana saya mak itu sih kita tu nak ayah ham ni inu asing inu nuna lagi. There's a risk, but it is low. And anyone who's left a Kaluet on or after April seventh. They should isolate at their along the way and at their final destination for 14, 14 days after they've left Akalawit. Taman ulugan na kutiliw galo a kisa ni ulugan na loa ka long nito kisa ni kina tuin na tay ma ikalun nito minigo ni April seven may kung ano ako loa ulak to minigo luni tay ma nuna lim mini tikis si maya mini uluni fourteen ni anit tay ligalik ikalun ni ngal to minigo loa luni. Jack McKay, CBC News. We've heard that um, uh, the people who have attended the NERP hearing and going home to their communities are going to be tested. Can you confirm if that is true? Jack McKay, CBC, could need to sassimum matagotaiko, avatiliri kukatimana la la tilugi, how is up to round the rock to matatamana suliva? That's that's not correct. The only way we would test somebody for like in a situation like that is if they were symptomatic or if they were identified through other information as a high risk contact. You've said that our testing capacity is limited um, given the current situation. Can you give us an update on what our testing capacity is and uh, particularly if we have enough swabs? Last time I checked, we were we had over twenty thousand swabs and uh, transport files uh, in Nunavut. Transport what? Files the the little Before containers with liquid. Fantastic. Yeah. Can you look at me? How you get out to twenty thousand? I'm not a nail out to tell me. How you sell it? 
the running the tests um, we've got the two instruments the biofire and the gene expert um, and uh, the lab techs can run in a Callaway certainly well over uh, or in around 200 tests a day but the longer we do that and the more we stretch that capacity it starts to have impact on other operations because they they can only do those tests not other tests um, so yesterday you announced um, new restrictions for Ranginina and Bafin communities. Can you update us on the risk for these communities and on the contract tracing? Okay. Matis Harvey Radio Canada could not put so hello or be that could not any solid to be that to hurt it down in the council of me. He kept out of me. No, 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 no. Um, the risk to other communities hasn't changed from yesterday and it would be uh, typical to wait at least a couple of weeks, two weeks before we uh, consider changing the measures in the other communities unless we find new cases um, and we haven't found any cases outside of Iqaluit at this point. Mr. Kusugag said earlier that um, there was a gap in the system in regards to the isolation exemption for critical workers. Um, how exactly, um, I asked that question yesterday, but I'll ask it again. How exactly will we make sure that this situation is not going to happen again? Um, can you update us on whether the critical worker that um, was the first case? Uh, if you respected or if he or she respected the rules of isolation or not. Right. I don't know what the heck you're saying. <laughs> I just want to have an update on whether this person respected or not the rules of isolation. How you go my to me? Just to clarify that, the comment I made was that if it is determined that there is a gap, uh, at this point, uh, we haven't determined that, and uh, when we get to that point, we, we will uh, be looking into that. Uh, but that's one of the things that uh, our, our staff, our, the, the COVID team is looking into at this time, is to see, um, is to ensure that there is no gaps in the system. And, and through this contact tracing and through the work that is being done now, that will be determined in, in the coming days. Thank you. What about the second part of my question? If that person respected the rules or not, do you have more information about this? Oh, Malik Salaka. Okay. That's what we're checking right now is, uh, is on those details. Press. 
Are you able to say whether the 12 cases announced today are all linked to the case you announced two days ago, the first case? I'm trying to Canadian press go and look up how to say no how on the key that got 12 no down alone at the road do I want to have to in a way but son I don't have to look them they're all in the same chain of transmission so it may not be direct links it may be you know one or two steps apart but uh, they've all been identified through the contact tracing that started on Wednesday night we heard the Premier say that we're expecting more cases in the next few days. Um, what's your advice on people who have travel plans in the future? I'm thinking of things like duty travel, circuit court, things where people from Akalawi would be going to other communities. It would be best if it didn't happen, and if it does happen, they if people need to go somewhere else outside of Akalawit, they need to isolate for 14 days on arrival. The, the only exception to the need for isolation would be if it's for critical work, like if somebody's flying out to do uh, repairs on a generator or refrigeration unit or healthcare workers, those sorts of uh, critical work need to continue. Dustin, Katar, no net shack of Ning, Matua, Samagia, and Larry Ning in the Asago behind it to me, Hanu to get Ning in the Matua, Nalona, Sia, and I. The public health order doesn't specify mask. The best recommendation, if it's a non medical mask, it'd be three layers or it'd be a true, like, surgical or medical mask. Surgical or medical? Yes. Earlier this week, we an early report that found that uh, two weeks after the second dose of the vaccine, um, it provides about 90% efficacy against COVID in general. Um, have you seen that report? What are your thoughts and what does that mean? Yeah, I've seen it. I saw your tweet. Um, so it, it's a press release from the company. Um, it might be reliable. It might not be. Um, the next step is similar to any research, any new data, uh, peer review, uh, see if it can be reproduced by others and uh, get, uh, you know, consensus on what the next steps are. I don't know what you said. Uh, Trevor, right now, news. Um, uh, Moderna is, is going to deliver fewer doses to Canada this month. Um, is that going to affect us at all? Or? Trevor, right now, news. Can Moderna go good? Hachi now, next week, Canada, we're taking it to the island. We're not doing a lot of
No, uh, it's not going to affect our uh, current plans. Um, we're going to continue with uh, finishing the mass vaccination clinics in a couple more communities and um, we'll be uh, expanding uh, access to the Moderna vaccine to rotational workers and we should have a press release coming out on that one later today. But basically, starting in the next uh, starting monday um, pr uh, rotational workers can will be able to contact their local health center and get the vaccine or get appointments for it sorry aga tamanna tuina hajangi tumano yo panna sima yatin ni kayus gutu hapa lega to tamako pe yagi to gaswa ni ni kapi yo hatam ni ni mako kanyo wala ila tu nuna le suli uh, it was a fairly quiet night last night and um, uh, if Kawa continues to go on as they do, um, we'll, we see a different situation, COVID situation in the next couple of weeks. Well, we know from experience in Nunavut and around the world that uh, the more we follow strict public health measures like this, uh, the, the sooner we can stop transmission. It, it uh, helps very much or can be very helpful with the goal of test, trace and isolate. So um, yes, it's, it's possible, but um, we'll have to see what happens over the next little while. How you may go in the money, no, no, me, and Malunun of Jamie, Tamako, Malita, Sadu, Katana, Hamming to Lerano, Malita, who yells in my youth. Hilamina Saku, Sam Palagum, Nihatanga, Taika, Yom, Nihat Sarum, Nato. How is Sakta Hatalotic, a Malocatia meaning in Nelonato, Hatalotic, a Malani Taili Lutic, Tema, Tegasa, Martelli, Tinsinus, Gunata. Tentriscal APTM National News. Uh, Dr. Patterson, throughout your contact tracing, are any of the investigations, do they involve people who have since left the Calabi? Are any of the contacts people who have left him? Uh, there's a few who've gone to, gone south and uh, like have left the Calabi and we're tracking them and they're still, um, uh, still required to isolate and get tested as per our protocols. Uh, Dr. Patterson, previously whenever we've asked you about the vaccination rate for a particular community, you would say you weren't going to give that out because you didn't want to shame and blame individual communities. But yesterday, your office put out that more than 3,500 Akalawi re residents have received the first dose, and the 2,000 have received the second dose. That, that seems like a change in policy. I'm wondering why the policy was changed and whether we'll see that with other communities going forward. In the absence of an outbreak, no. Um, the, the rationale or part of the rationale supporting the decision yesterday was one of the big questions for everyone is uh, what are the odds that we're going to see, um, you know, a significant outbreak? What are the chances, what are the risks to our most vulnerable individuals? Um, and those are valid questions and one of the ways to assess that risk is how many residents have been vaccinated at least once or twice. Um, and so there's a public need to have that information available. Um, and so we went public with the numbers yesterday. 
Sama pelejä johtilu tinna kuu teemäkiä tungittuukeloa nalunaa sikunnanna muki saine leippat saa isama liula uudatta teemää apekkutiunginna kekkulimaanu hanutjigi teemää saama pelejä johtilu kuu uluraa naktumietit sikunnanna uluraa naktumiika jammangata hanimma kutte haruti pilua mitamakko uluraa naktumiikunna nirsai suullu inna tukhain Malu hat siun ini tak kau kapi jauh sama yun alun air alil aku tahu kikut tu ini teh mah kau yang mana mek mah sulu saya mana mek saya guna kau yang malu ni. Jackie McKay, CBC News. In your opening remarks, you said that this was a case of community transmission, and then in Trevor's question, you said it wasn't. So can you clarify if it is or isn't? Yeah. Yeah. Jackie McKay, CBC kuni. Uhak aku betah, nanu nelayan ni saya ama pelajar negara segu ama luas saya nak bersuk tahu lebih betah mengin negara kita kaya nelayan apa? Oh yeah, apologies for the confusion. That was a misspeak. There's, it does not meet the formal criteria of community transmission versus household transmission. Mami anak ini dah mana tahu atau gaya malik tu kita mana lalu nak tahu guna ni tu nanu nelayan ni saya ama pelajar ni nanu kisah ni ilmu mereka tinggi ni saya ama pelajar ni nanu nalu nak tahu guna tu kalau. So again, just to make sure everyone's clear, the, the definition of community transmission is we're having cases pop up that we can't establish links between them. Right now in Iqaluit, every individual who's had a positive result, uh, we know where they are on that chain of transmission. So it does not fit that, uh, the definition of community transmission. Tukis ini cara kami lugu tema tukinga nunalin ni saya ama pelajar nak tahu pad solo nak kutui nalu tema nuva jual nak tahu pelajar guna nak hatila hat telinga yang ngat tema nunalin ni saya ama pelajar nak tahu di lugu mana yang lehalun ni tema kau nuva jual nak tahu si maju nami nak mengat kau yang mana kutui nama mata tema nunalin ni saya ama pelajar ingin nak tahu yang guna nak tahu. Do you have a percentage for adults who've been vaccinated in a Hawaii? Hati persen tinggi ini nak kalau ni kape jauh semua ban. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. We've we do have it. I just let me just see if it's in the papers. Okay. Nope. Sorry. Pita kangi. People who have left Iqaluit since April 7 have to isolate, uh, self-isolate for 14 days. What about Iqaluit who left but want to come back? Should they isolate where they are or come back and isolate immediately? Matthias Harvey, Radio Canada, Kuni Teiko, Aulak Semana Rakhauga, Vi Khalunni, Postabenu, Ngatagullu, Ani Teilige, Hakpa, Immini, Teiko, Alkia, Khalunni, Kalau nut utus semalam tu tak mahu tahu ni tadi dia akan dia harga jahat. If they want to return, they should isolate until their flight and then come back home. And there's no point in isolating once they're already once they're back to a Kaluit. Remember that the order to isolate the whole purpose is to minimize the risk of transmission or or spreading the COVID into other communities. So they don't have to do anything different other than what's in the orders when they get to a Kaluit. Uteruti ani teli ga haragatu ila ani teli ka ina ga haragatu uteru maguti tama unga halunu kisa ani lita ko halunu uter sima lakto ima ani teli gir sima mata ani teli kan ga haragani tu tama na ila pejo te hanga nuna lino tama na sa magta teli kulugu nuva jo anak nineteen. I think this is. Go ahead. That's the Batarna has yet news. I'm not sure if this question is for us, so I'll let you figure it out. This morning, from what I heard, the wait time for the COVID hotline was over an hour. Um, I'm wondering what kind of resources are dedicated to that and how that will be scaled based on need. Dustin Patan, a check on new latos of Hamatana, Nova Jana, Moha, Laviu Hatatung, as it to make a hang it to Ikaka, Matana, Guta, Katangata, Pilirich, Hatser, Tugalaka. It was upstaffed as of uh, yesterday for there's some, uh, I'm not sure how many staff for the non nursing questions related to travel and things, and then there's a number of nurses. Um, 
most of the time up until uh, a couple of days ago it was one or two nurses at a time. Um, today's problem was more of a technical problem where there were calls coming in but they couldn't answer them and I don't know all the details. Um, and I know that the telephone company was contacted to try to sort it out. Again, I'm not sure this question is for. Um, while some of the announcements about the new cases, for example, this morning have been in all languages, I noticed that the storehouse public service announcement was in English only last night, and I didn't see an Ututu version. Is that something we can expect to see moving forward? Okay. Yeah, the it's uh, all announcements are to to come out in four all four languages uh, as soon as possible. Um, under the circumstances, the desire was to get it out uh, at least in one language in a hurry, and then get the others. So we'll get them out. Okay.